Hey guys, so in this video I'm going to show you how to take a professional looking shot of yourself for your LinkedIn profile. Now even though I have tons of equipment and some of you do too, some of you guys are photographers and have studio setups and cameras and tripods and all the stuff you need, for this video I'm actually going to just be using my cell phone, just like you guys would be using, okay? so. Um, let's get this going. All right, so one of the first things you actually need to do is get ready. You want to look professional, and that is going to vary a little bit depending on your industry. So for me, I'm a teacher. Um, I'm going to be wearing what I usually wear to work, which is my black shirts and my little sweaters and such. Uh, for you, it might be a little different. Usually some kind of um, button-up type of shirt or something with a collar looks pretty nice no matter what the gender or industry. So if you're kind of stuck, look for something like that. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is look for a location in your home or your work, somewhere you have access to where there is a um, blank wall and a big window. This is one of the best lights for these type of shots because it's a really nice soft light for portraits and it looks really good on almost everybody. If you can't find that, you can also look for a shady area outside um, with some kind of greenery behind you. And I say shady because you're also going to get that indirect soft light when you're in the shade versus that really hard direct sunlight look. Um, it can be really hard to keep your eyes open in the sun as well. <laughs> so um, that's why I say, you know, somewhere in the shade hopefully with maybe a blank wall or maybe like a big bush behind you or something like that is gonna look pretty nice. Something that's pretty blank, all right? You don't want the background distracting from you. We're only gonna be shooting this area, so you don't have to have a huge area of the wall, um, but you, know, you just need enough open space behind you, blank space behind you to cut out any distractions. So I'm gonna go clear out this area now. All right, so now that I've got it all cleared out, let's try to get this shot, okay? I have uh, the window next to me, and now I'm gonna try to get my photo. Now I know a lot of times with selfies, we have all these different angles and stuff we're trying to do, but we're trying to not make this look like a selfie. In fact, if you can get someone else to help you out with this, that's even better, but I know that's not possible for everyone. So, I'm gonna go ahead and see how this goes. Let's see. All right, so it looks like the, the shadows are still a little intense, so I'm just gonna turn a little bit more towards my face, towards the window, so that the light is hitting it a little bit more evenly. Then instead of going up here or anything like that, I'm gonna try to be as straight on eye level with my camera, with myself, as possible. All right, smile. All right, let me try to fix my hair a little bit. I've got a couple little flyaways happening. Look at those details. Okay, let's try this again. Another thing that I notice that I do is that I look at the screen when I'm trying to take a selfie. Um, try looking at the actual camera lens. It'll look like you're looking into the camera instead. All right, just another one for good measure. I'm gonna get a little bit closer to the window. Looking up at the lens. All right, so here are the photos I took. Here's the first one and here's the second one. And if you notice, um, the second one, I had pulled my camera a little bit closer to my face and so it has distorted a little bit in comparison to this one, which is uh, the one where I had my hand out about arm's length away. So try to keep that camera pulled back a little bit just because most cameras, uh, phone cameras at least, have wide angle lenses, which means they will start to distort your face a bit and make them puff out. So uh, I know some of the newer phones have multiple cameras. I don't have that. Just a general tip when shooting with a wide angle lens. Let's go ahead and go into editing. The first thing I'm gonna do is crop it square. Okay, that's looking pretty good there. Uh, and I'm just going to do some basic corrections 
to this photo. I'm not gonna add filters or anything. We want it to look just as close to you as possible. So I'm looking at the white wall behind me and I know that's a white wall and therefore this photo is a little bit dark. It's underexposed. So I'm gonna take the exposure up until it's starting to look more white back there. Okay, and it is looking a little bit on the greenish side. So to counteract if your whites are looking green, you want to add a little bit of magenta. Just a tad bit. Actually, I'm, at, I'm gonna go with a little bit more warmth. A little bit of yellow, not too much. I'm not doing a lot, okay? I'm gonna add a little bit of sharpening. All right, that's looking pretty good. That's about all I really need to do. Um, I could add, let's see how it, uh, a little bit of, what do I got? Um, a little bit of a vignette maybe, but it's a white wall, so I don't want to go crazy. So I'm gonna take this brightness up a little bit. There we go, just something very subtle. All right, and if I hold down, I can go to the before and there's the after. So just very subtle changes to it. Nothing extreme. This just needs to look like you. All right. So not too bad, guys. I think you can do a great headshot on your own as well.